Here are seven ways to help you detect calculus. First one is the old school Perio Explorer. We all had these in hygiene school, and a lot of us, including myself, gave up on it. You know, I didn't come back to it like a year or two after hygiene school. This is probably the best way to detect calculus blindly. So if you don't have this and you're not using it, I highly recommend you get them back. It's my U3D from school still. I still have these. These are really good. All right. Number two, power scaling tip. This is my Parkell power tip, Burnett power tip. I love these things, by the way. Some people don't think about it, but you can use this to detect. So while you're working, whether the tip is active or not, it's, gonna, it's not perfect. It's not as good as a Pure Explorer, but it's something. And you can you know, kind of feel as you go, and it will help. So everything that you're using, you can use to pretty much detect calculus. So again, number three, hand scaling. It's my American Eagle Blackjack. It's my workhorse here. Um, you, know, you can feel calculus with this. Not as good as a Pure Explorer, but you can feel, and it helps. So take your time with a light grip to help feel for calculus. Number four, good old floss. So I'm sure we're all flossing every patient we do, and it's just a different way. You know, some, some methods are better in some areas. You know, floss is not going to feel everything. You know, the hand scale is not going to feel everything, and so on. So every little thing is going to help you find calculus, especially sub, where we're working blindly, basically. So number five is your air water syringe, air. You know, air is a big one. I see a lot of hygienists not using air. You know, it's a lot of like that chalky calculus, that sheet calculus you have like the lower interiors and you dry. I use it also to flap the gums back. You know, if I'm looking, I can look down into the pocket um, if you blow in that air uh, to see what's, I mean, obviously you can't see everything. It'd be nice if you could with just this, but, but you can't. But it's going to help a little bit, you know, so every little thing helps. The next thing is... These are my 4.5 loops with Illumident light. I think all hygienists should have loops and a light. You will find, you will find and see uh, much more calculus with, uh, with loops. Um, you combine, you know, like my 4.5 loops and blowing air, you know, flapping back the, uh, the gums. You know, sometimes I can see like four or five millimeters into the pocket and it helps a lot, big time. Um, the last thing is a perioscope. I don't have one of those, unfortunately. Hopefully, I'm hoping to have one soon. For those that don't know, a perioscope is like a little mini camera that goes into the uh, subgingival uh, area, and you, you can like basically watch on a screen, and you can scale, you know, power scale, as you watch the screen. It's, uh, it's the most direct vision you're going to get besides open flap, I guess. Um, that's kind of a niche thing. It's not a common thing. You know, periscope is pretty expensive. Um, you know, very few hygienists are using it today, but hopefully someday that's, that'll become mainstream and that'll be the ultimate way of uh, making sure you get all calculus because uh, we all miss calculus. So. All right, so if you guys have any questions, just drop a comment below and I will respond. Thank you.